leaving Canada. And we're heading to one of the known trouble spots in the ICW. A lot of people running around here. Would a wake uh, help you at all, do you think? I hope so. Today, we cross again to the Bahamas. on searching for seashells. Going to a boatyard to finally get our boat fixed up from the Bahamas accident. Sheldon, your boat is being dismantled. This is the first look at the seashell with the new paint job. Yeah, it just looks stunning. Really nice, really pleased. Couldn't be happier. day ever to cross Lake Ontario and here we go super exciting are you excited Sheldon yes I'm so excited it is exciting it's it yeah. gets it's exciting every time People have showed us around a little bit too here. And we're all heading out this morning. Going on the ocean to Cape May. I can't wait. Five hour run. 
and it's a beautiful day. He's telling me to do an active captain, so I plotted it here. Now that is way off of the magenta line for the ICW. So we're going to do this real slow and see if we make it through. We're right here right now. The current's still a bit whirly. The current is bad. Are you sure we should do it? Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. And it looks like it takes you right over the marsh but it really doesn't look at it because the line comes over here. You would never think that that's what you should be doing, but it is. Are you sure, Sheldon? I'm as sure as I followed this guy's instructions last year. We did a very similar thing. I don't know if it was quite ex exact as this, but it was the same thing. We had to dip east. I can slow down now and yeah. just pump through. Take a sharp turn. This is the new river inlet right here. Doesn't look no. or feel right. No, and that's where the normal. So how are people supposed to know this though? I don't know how uh, anybody would navigate through this without following active captain. Like. We seen one yesterday, we passed them. Yeah, they were we there. followed Active Captain, felt weird the way we're going, but, and then if we, we just straight. went straight, like you think you should the be allowed. The green back there was moved just before Onslow River Bridge. The green was moved. Yeah. And uh, they were, they were ground. Yeah. And then we did whatever, a little zigzag of sorts, and we never even, we were low tide and never even seen low water. No, I think eight so, or nine feet. Yeah. So Active yeah. Captain is uh, He's your friend. It's your friend, but it's still... You still gotta be careful. I yeah. mean, everything here is not good, but here, at least Bob put the, put the waypoints in so people could chart their way through. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, I'm getting uh, close now okay. to where I need to turn in. And I'm not going through here. Look, this is where all the normal buoys are. Yeah. And across the Yeah, markets. like I would say go straight and yeah, it would be fine. Yeah, yeah. but we're gonna swing. Now. Really? Yeah. Oh, sure, I don't know. At 11 feet right now. All right, so now we're heading, we're heading through what looks like a marsh, 10 feet. It's What's the current doing to you? Nothing, it's, it's gonna swipe me when I wanna turn, which is probably a bit, 10.8 feet. Looks like I'm going over land on the garment chart here. And this one too. Ten feet. Ten feet. We're going to get swiped by this current now. Is this Five the months. inlet? No. This is, this is the inlet. This is the inlet. Yeah, there's the ocean there. Yeah. Uh, 12.5 feet, and it's going to turn me, but I need to turn anyway. So that's not really good. Oh my goodness. That's cut right. Still good, 15 feet, 16 feet. All right, so we're hitting across. I mean, I'm following his waypoints exactly. 
Now, it's a little bit forgiving now because we are at high tide, or close to it. And that was just after, just before. Oh, you feel close no, to this, though. There's definitely no slight water yet. What? You feel close to this, though. Yeah, the current's pulling me out. It looks like we're going into lead. <laughs> definitely a weird feel. And even the markers, they're all red here. Still at 15 here. feet. We're good. We're good. We're good. Are you going out to that red marker? No, I'm going to turn now and straight out this way. Where is the second. ICW? We're, 16 minutes. <laughs> we're almost out there. And 12 feet. 10 feet there. So the ICW keeps you on your toes. So there's a few spots on the way down like this where you have to be really careful. For the most part, you don't have to be as careful as this. But, but we see on people active captain, around. Hit the hazard, oh, hit the hazard icon on active captain, and I use Garmin blue chart for it. And if it says a traditional um, hazard, traditional problem spot, then you know this is one to be you know extra cautious on. If somebody give away points, put them in. They're, they're both in. I got the waypoints just for the little part here on the on the small one, and I got my whole route includes that little dip that we just did, and we're through. I'm in the ICW again on the magenta line. All right. We're through. We're through. Yay. We're good. Yay! Off to the next one. Next one. <laughs> Spill the wine, Seashell. Uh, this is Spill the Wine. Yeah, I, I don't know if I can, but uh, would a wake uh, help you at all, do you think? I hope so. Uh, if you can, yeah, the bigger the better, and I'll, uh, I'll try to come off. Thank you. All right, let's see what I can do here. I said to you, So we're last minute before the crossing. Last minute.
How do you like Fort Lauderdale, Sheldon? Really nice. I know. And we're going to go take a quick spin. We had dinner. And now we're going to go just look around. Carmen set up, got our lights on. We're going in through the little channel. Good morning. We are in Fort Lauderdale. Today we cross again to the Bahamas. And we've spent two months coming down all the way to Fort Lauderdale. Uh, we we're going to go to Miami, but um, it's not worth the, uh, we have a window here to cross and we're going to lose it if we don't cross from here. So we're going to fight the current in the Gulf Stream a little bit and uh, and uh, we're not going to, it's not going to be that much of a waste of fuel because we're not going to Miami, so we're saving that much. It was a nice day here, two nights I think. Anyway. Today's crossing day. Stay tuned. Okay. And we're going to Bimini. We're going where? First time we've been to Bimini? And it's super exciting. It's a hot day. Yeah. And we expect the Gulf Stream to be slightly calmer than the last time we crossed to the Bahamas. Yes. We've had two days of really calm weather and we're saying, everybody's saying this is going to be nothing but a pretty much a mundane crossing to the Bahamas. Fort Lauderdale. Leaving Fort Lauderdale, and we're just heading out the inlet. Got a few more boats coming behind us. Princess Royale is one of them. And uh, I think it might be a half hour late getting out of the inlet because they missed the bridge. We'll catch them later. Yeah. Water's familiar. Ah, welcome home, 
shell there. That's right. Oh, I love it. What does it take to feel this alive? Every day we're gonna try. What does it take to feel this alive? Chase down our fears to live for. Everybody's got their uh, quarantine flags up. Sheldon's gonna go and check us in. Customs office is up here, Bimini. So I'm gonna take a walk through now. I think Cindy's supposed to stay aboard. Yes. Wish me luck. Trying to get six months cruise permit. Yes, that's exactly the plan. Sheldon's quite happy. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh. No one ever slowing down, darling. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. No one ever slowing down. No one ever slowing down. We'll get lost until we're found. Seashell is with the Princess Royale. <laughs> In the Bahamas. Yeah. Oh, that's for real. The and Bahamas. it's just starting. Next time on Searching for Seashells. I noticed a little bit rough and then noticed some smoke, black smoke coming out the back. And we got I knocking. Knock. I'm going to crack every fuel line to each cylinder and see if the knocking stops.